<laughs> Good evening, YouTube. Sheldon Pollard the second here, coming from Kansas on my way home. And once again, this is work to vibes video, work to home vibes video. Today is an interesting day. And the reason why it's interesting is because there is a a topic that I've had on my mind for a long time. And in fact, a good friend of mine and I, we talked about it. But before we get into all that, first of all, as always, I like to say thank you for viewing my channel. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. And most of all, thank you for the opportunity to allow me to do what I do. Now, before we get started, as always, like, share, and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TonyGumble21. Hopefully, everybody had a great day today. I had a decent day. It was mediocre. You know, it wasn't nothing to cry home about. Um, but today was a very interesting day. Uh, Got a lot of work done that I was supposed to, which is good. Yeehaw. And, you know, it's nothing to write home about. Now, as I was, say, as I was saying, today's topic is going to be a topic that I brought up before. It's a topic that I haven't discussed before. And I want to talk about that because it's it bugs and bothers me the fact that we don't address this. That is African Americans and other sports besides baseball, I mean besides football and basketball. And what I'm going to say is going to ruffle some feathers, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Okay. Basketball has been in existence for the past, oh, 60, almost 70 years. Football has been in existence for a number of years as well. Now, the issue that I have with that is... 95% of the black population, men and women, go to the NBA or the WNBA. And they go to the NFL. Now, I don't have a problem with those people going to the NFL and the NBA. But there are other sports to consider. There is baseball, there is soccer, there is hockey, there is tennis, there are a lot of sports, and there's even NASCAR. Now, NASCAR has been in existence for close to 60 years. NASCAR has been in existence for 60 years. And the reason why I say that is because not a lot of people, African Americans, follow NASCAR. You might have several in the in the in the series, but how many black people do you know watch NASCAR or like NASCAR? Not a lot. But when you hear about the NBA and the NFL, the majority of the African American population go to, you guessed it, the NBA and the NFL. Now, the reason why they go is because that's where they get most money. 
okay. But at the same time, though, not everybody is cut out for the NFL or the NBA. And, you know, it's like try out a different sport. There are so many athletes out here who can who can do a lot more than football and basketball. They can do baseball, they can do soccer. Not a lot of black people are in soccer. They can either go they can even go to tennis. You can even go to tennis and do good. But in all actuality, Football and basketball are the two main sports because that's where you get the most money. And see, now, with what's going on in the NBA spectrum, guess what? Guess what? There you have it. Now, let's say that NAS, NAS, let's say if baseball, if the NFL and the NBA were not in existence, let's say that it was never in existence, or let's say that it was 95% of majority white sport, then the NFL and the NBA, you, it would be hard to get in. Because let's say if it were like a country club, you gotta have, let's, let's say that you're trying to get into a country club. You have to have country club status and no people in the country club in order to play at the country club. You ever figure that out? If the NFL and the NBA were run like a country club was, oh, there wouldn't even be an existence of it. There wouldn't be an existence of it. And you know why there wouldn't be an existence of it? Because you would have to have a, a huge, 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 you know, a lot of rapport with people. You would have to rub elbows with people. And, you know, that in the NBA and the NFL, I, I like it, I like the sport, I like what they're doing in the communities, but a person should not just want to play, you know, a person should not just want to be in the NBA or the NFL. Those are not the only two sports in the league, in the, in the sports spectrum. You have other sports. But see, they don't think about that because it doesn't give them as much money as the NBA and the NFL. See, if I were playing, I would play for my... I, if it were me and I had to choose, I would branch out. I would go to either tennis, baseball, soccer, or hockey. That's what I would do. Because the sport in the in America See, this is this is this is what we have got mixed up. More black people are in the sport of NBA and NFL than any other sport in the country. Yet, there are a lot of them that are not talented enough to be a LeBron James or a uh, uh, Tom Brady or Eli Manning or a Clay Thompson or a Steph Curry. Yet, they might think that, but they aren't. And if you don't excel at one sport, there's always other sports to excel in. But the thing about it is that 
we, you know, black people, uh, black athletes feel like, oh, they can make it out the, out the, out of the neighborhood or the hood or the ghetto if you want to, if you so choose, by playing football or basketball. Well, you can do that, but there are many other sports that you can get out of. Look at, look at Venus and Serena Williams. Look at where they came from. They came from Compton, California. And look at where they are now. 14 plus time Grand Slam champions. And they play a different sport other than basketball and football. Now what are you telling me? But we don't take, we take all these other sports for granted. But when it comes to baseball and when it comes to football and basketball, oh, we die hard for that. All of these sports are owned by white men. You ever figure that you're playing for a white man? Everybody from the general manager to the team president of operations to every body on the team is white. Everybody on the team is white. And see, there's only a little bit of diversity in the NFL and NBA. There is a little bit more diversity in the N NBA than there is in the NFL. There is a lot more diversity in the NBA than there is in the NFL. You're either black, white, or Hispanic. I have not seen a Chinese person play. I have not seen a Japanese person play. I haven't even seen an Asian person play the sport of NFL. Because number one, NFL is not as big as it is here in the United States. Oh, it's starting to build, but it's built into England and, and Mexico. Why not have an NFL game in, in Japan? You have the World Baseball Classic in Japan. You have half of the M MLB. Uh, uh, you have half of the MLB roster as Japanese. Yao Ming was the first Japanese player to play the sport of basketball, and then it goes on from there. But we need to branch out from the two major sports that we know. We need to get into, you know, even get into golf. There are not a lot of black people that play golf. Tiger Woods is the only African American slash Asian guy to play the game of golf. We look at movies like The Legend of Bagger Vance. We look at that. Why is Tiger Woods the only one on the PGA Tour? I mean, even to get on the amateur tour, it's not hard. But once again, we always refer revert back to the NFL and the NBA. Because without that, you, here's what people think. People think that if the NBA, they think that the NBA and the NFL are the only two sports in the world where you can make money. Let me just explain something to you. That's not true. You have other sports where you can earn money. You go to NASCAR, you earn sponsorships. You earn uh, sponsorships. You're sponsored by people who will give you an insane amount of money for doing a commercial. Same thing goes with, you know, even even 
promoting the next uh, race that there is. That's an endorsement right there. You are endorsed by, okay, in NASCAR, you have a big endorser and you have a secondary endorser and maybe a third. You have a primary, secondary, and a third if, if so chosen. Look at, uh, look at Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he retired. He had Nationwide. He had Budweiser in the early days when he started running hard in the NASCAR uh, Energy, Monster Energy Cup Series. But NASCAR is a multi-billion dollar sport. They have so many endorsements from uh, Pepsi and GoDaddy and, and Nationwide and Xfinity and all these, all of these endorsements are going to one major sport. And that is the sport of NASCAR. NASCAR is growing to where there have only been three drivers, one of which is still driving. Wendell Scott, 1948. Bill Lester, 2006. Bubba Wallace, 2013 to present. That's it. When in NASCAR on the Caucasian side, Davey Allison, uh, Bill Parsons, uh, Bill, uh, Benny Parsons, Benny Parsons, Dale Jarrett, Ned Jarrett, Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, uh, uh, David Pearson, uh, uh, who else? Um, uh, Ernie Irwin, Alan Kowicki, all of these people you have probably never heard of. You probably never heard of them. You got young guys coming up in the NASCAR game. You got Chase Elliott who just pre who previous who just won a NASCAR event. Kyle Larson. You have the the veterans. You have Casey Kane. You have all of these guys that I'm mentioning have endorsements. They're not they're not they don't have the LeBron James money, but they're working towards it. But see, the only thing that we as black people want to care about is the NFL and the NBA. Because that's all we've been trained to think about. We haven't been trained to think about anything else. No other sport have we been trained to think about. That's why if I owned a NASCAR team, it would be a black owned team. And the reason why I say black owned is because I want the, the future, the future generations of black individuals to learn the sport of NASCAR, to get into it, to learn how things work. Because believe it or not, NASCAR, as many people might think, is, is a sport. It is a sport. I challenge anyone who is a who is an athlete, both professional and amateur, to go to a racetrack, call up a racetrack, see if they offer a uh, see if they offer a NASCAR uh, experience, because they don't understand what it's like. You know why? Because they haven't really looked at the sport. NASCAR is an endurance sport. You think that playing basketball or playing football is endurance enough? No. NASCAR is more endurance. You are sitting in a 3,400 3, pound race car with no air conditioning. You have a fire suit on which adds about a pound and a half. Then you have a, a helmet, which weighs about two pounds. And you're going around the track and it's hot as blue blazes out there, especially in, uh, in California and Arizona and Nevada. It's a, it, let's say it's 80, it's 80 degrees, the air temperature, but on the track, it's 130. 
and you're going around the track in 80 plus degree weather and guess what you're racing for three hours two and a half three hours you don't have you cannot get out of your race car mid race and use the bathroom you can't do that you can't say oh I'm tired and just park and turn off your car you can't do that now you can do that once you leave the race but you can't do that during the race you are literally strapped in a 3,400 pound race car and anything can happen anything can happen anything can happen you can get into a wreck you can hit the wall hard Anything can happen. If you haven't educated yourself on the on the history of NASCAR, NASCAR was started in 1948. NASCAR was started in 1948. It it, it was started when uh, uh oh, what's that word I'm looking for? bootleggers, uh, moonshiners, that's what they call them, moonshiners, it's when moonshiners were getting, uh, making their own liquor, and they would get chased by the police, and that's how NASCAR started, and now, it's grown to a multi-billion dollar company, and to race a NASCAR is not cheap. It cost almost $500,000 to have two race cars. $5 million to have the truck and trailer. And close to $2 million to have equipment that you take from race to race. And you're away from your families. Well, in NASCAR, you, you know, you're, you're at a race. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, then after the race Sunday, you pack up and go home, so you're basically in and out, 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 for 36 straight weeks, for 36 straight weeks, you are in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and it starts in February and goes all the way to November. And you don't get to choose which race you want to go to. You don't choose which race to go to, especially if you're in the top series. You don't get to choose. If you're committed to 36 races, you do 36 races. But you don't get to choose what races you go to and which you don't. There are other sports other than NBA and NFL that you really need to look at. You can get a quarter of that money if you went to another sport. You can get a quarter, a little bit, and, and, and money should not be a factor. But of course, we live in a society that really cares about money. We do. And the reason why we do is because we are so money hungry. Now, there are those that are not money hungry, and I give it to them. Congratulations. But if you are money hungry, then... Why? Why are you money hungry? Like, what exactly are you, I don't get it, but that's in another video. People, please look at other sports other than, NAS, other than NBA and NFL.
there are a lot more sports <coughs> that are more enjoyable than the NBA and the NFL. A lot more. A lot more. There are a ton more sports than just baseball, than football and basketball. And they're all right in front of you. But see, we would rather watch guys run up a basketball court and shoot a basketball in a net. That takes only a little bit of concentration. We would rather watch a guy run up a football field, run a route, sprint left, and then right and do a zigzag route. That's all fine and good. But we need to focus on other sports than that. There are other sports than NASCAR. Then I, I don't know why I keep saying. There are other sports than ba basketball and football that you can watch. What do you do during the off season of football and basketball? Nothing. Just twiddle your thumbs all day. What I do is I watch NASCAR. I love the sport. I think it's I think it's a great sport. But try to look at something other than baseball, basketball, and football. There are a lot of great sports out there. All right. YouTube, it's been fun. Once again, follow me on follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at TonyGumble21. Also, like, share, subscribe, and comment to me here on YouTube. Sheldon Potter. Have a great night, YouTube. I will see you tomorrow. Be on the lookout for an upload of these new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.